Danger Dolan. From noble sacrifices that bring a tear to your eye to ignoring the needs of the world and saving a girl, we count 15 of the most depressing video game endings of all time. So just a warning, obvious warning, this countdown contains spoilers for 15 different story-driven games, the most recent of which came from November 2013. If you're not cool with this, stop watching now. Number 15. The Last of Us is the latest game by Naughty Dog and has been universally praised for its dreary look at what happens when society breaks down. The ending of The Last of Us shows flawed humans dealing with a harsh environment. The game begins with Joel, the main character, losing his daughter. This sets up the ending where he refuses to sacrifice Ellie for a chance at saving the world. When Joel learns that the Fireflies need to kill Ellie to extract her immunity to the infection, he kills everyone on the way to save her, despite the fact that the Fireflies are the good guys and the fact that he didn't want to kill them in the first place. Number 14. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It was a dream all along. Usually these words make people groan when this is the plot twist in a story. Well. Link's Awakening pulls it off in an interesting and depressing way. The game is about Link's adventure on Koholint Island where he needs to wake the windfish, that is the egg, on top of the mountain. Throughout his adventure, he meets and comes close with many of the island's inhabitants. In the end, it turns out that the entire island was a fabrication of the windfish's mind and that waking it up and allowing Link to leave would also wipe out the entire island and its inhabitants from existence. Number 13. Halo Reach. Succumbing to your inevitable and untimely death is a somber subject that Reach tackles head on. If you're not even a little bit familiar with the Halo universe, you'd be aware that things weren't going to end well from the beginning, but it still manages to tear jerk with its execution. You play as Noble Six in Halo Reach, a newly added member to a once squad of five, and as the game goes on, your squad mates die one by one until you're the last one left. After Noble Six delivers an important package, he denies a ride off of the doomed planet so the ship carrying it can leave safely. Next, he is tasked with the chilling objective, survive. After endless hordes of Covenant swarm you, you realize that the task was impossible. There's no respawns this time though, as Noble Six dies fighting on planet reach. Number 12. Conker's Bad Fur Day is a game of jokes about bouncing on boobs and pitchforks with googly eyes, yet it is one of the most surprising and saddest endings in gaming. Conker's journey started so he could save his girlfriend and maybe get some cash on the way. He goes through a bunch of wacky areas, beats some ridiculous bosses, and even breaks the fourth wall in order to get the programmers to do his bidding. However, at the end of the game, his girlfriend is dead, and he forgets to ask the programmers to bring her back to life. He is then elected as king of the land, even though he doesn't like anyone in the kingdom, and all he wants to do is go back home with his now dead girlfriend. Number 11. Grand Theft Auto 4. The GTA series is well known for immersive worlds and environments, with the story taking you into a crime world that most people would never want to be in. The characters are out for it big, and at the end of GTA 4, you're given two choices, but both of them end in tragedy. The first choice is to side with Kate, Nico's girlfriend which involves Nico giving up on his criminal life so he could be with Kate. However, this ends with Kate dying. On the flip side, if you side with Roman and decide to go for the money, Roman is the one that ends up dying. This is orchestrated so that the person you care about is the one that dies, giving maximum emotional impact. Number 10. Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. So this game is a simple kind of puzzle game where each Thumbstick controls a different character. Controlling both of them at the same time can really drain you, but not nearly as much as the somber ending. The game begins with the brother's mother dying and the father getting sick, so the brothers go off on a journey to get the water of life. Just before they arrive at their destination, one of the brothers gets mortally wounded. The other brother races to get the water of life and rushes back only to find his brother is dead. He then has to make it back to his father. When he arrives home, the water heals his father and the game ends with them mourning their loss. Number 9. Infamous 2 The Bad Karma Ending So this is one of those games with moral choices where there's no middle of the road. However, this plays off with the endings where it wouldn't make sense in the story to have a neutral side. Both endings have a dark side to them. The good ending forces you to kill yourself and all of the conduits. The bad ending is what gripped many people and it's not the final choice you have to make that made people sad, it's the fact that you need to kill the most likable 
unlikable character in the game to do it. Zeke was the only character in the game that was consistently by your back the whole way through. Although he wasn't on your side in the previous game, he more than makes up for it in Infamous 2. Number 8. To the Moon is a game about memories and how important they are to us. In the game, there's a service for fabricating memories for those that are dying so that they can die without regrets. The plot takes place within Johnny's memories. Johnny lost his twin when he was a child. His mother gave him beta blockers to erase the memory, but it also made him forget about meeting his future wife, River, where they met at a carnival, looked at the stars, saw a rabbit constellation with the moon as its belly, and talked of meeting at the moon at next year's carnival. When River died without being able to jostle his memories of their first meeting, Johnny was left with regret and a desire to go to the moon. The scientists managed to fabricate the memory of him going to the moon, and the game closes in on Johnny's fake memory of reaching the moon as he dies. Number 7 Heavy Rain, Sean Dies. So the story in this game discusses loss, addiction, and psychopathy. The plot takes many twists and tones. Pretty much anyone can die. Thanks to the dynamic nature of the story, it has many different endings, but those in which Sean, Ethan's son, dies are by far the most depressing. If Ethan fails to save Sean from the origami killer, it sends him into a spiral of depression that eventually leads to his death. There are multiple ways this happens, but all of them are by suicide. Then there's the FBI agent, Norman, who struggles with the addiction to his augmented reality glasses and a fictional drug called tryptocaine. The only good ending for Norman is his total rejection of both tryptocaine and the glasses. Otherwise, he will die from overdosing or he will go insane. Number 6. Shadow of the Colossus is a game where you climb and topple giants. The story surrounding the game covers the preciousness of life and death. You cannot have one without the other. Wanda, the protagonist, kills the Colossi for the demigod Dormin in order to bring his spouse, Emon, back to life. However, what he doesn't realize is that Dormin was using him. Dormin's essence was trapped in the Colossi to imprison it, and with each Colossi's death, a piece of Dormin entered his body. The game ends with Wanda fully enveloping Dormin's soul. Then the cavalry arrives and defeats Wanda and Dormin with him. Emon then wakes up and finds Wanda, who had returned to an infant. Emon will never know what Wanda did for her, and Wanda does not get the reunion he hoped for. Number 5. Metal Gear Solid 3. So this is the tale of double crossing, triple crossing, nuclear threats, and secret organizations. The main character is Naked Snake. His part is to kill the boss, his double crossing mentor, and the lackeys that follow her. What Snake didn't know until after he killed her was that the boss was under orders from the US government and that she never actually defected to the Soviet Union. The boss would go down in history as a war criminal and an instigator of nuclear fallout. Only Snake could know the truth of her valiance, and so Snake saluted her grave and continued with his duty. Number 4. Red Dead Redemption. This game begins with John Marston, a former outlaw, being sent to Texas to take down the rest of his former gang. John does this in order to be granted amnesty for himself and his family. However, even after he finishes off the gang, he is hunted and killed by government officials. The game then moves three years into the future, where John's son is seeking revenge for his father, which he succeeds in, but now the criminal past John sought so desperately to keep from his family had caught up with him. Number 3. Soul Sacrifice's original ending showed the futility of your entire adventure, but it also tries and succeeds with flying colors to humanize Magusa, who is essentially a god of destruction and mayhem. The story starts with saying that the main character, Librom, is going to turn into a destructive force of evil, so he teams up with Magusa, before he was a god, in an effort to find the magical wish-granting chalice. Along the way, Librom and Magusa become close friends. It ends with Librom facing two choices, refuse to sacrifice your friend, spare Magusa's life, and spend an eternity of death and rebirth, or sacrifice Magusa, claim the grail, and restart the world only for everything to repeat the exact same way. Number two. In Mother 3, the protagonist swaps around, time skips forward, and characters selflessly sacrifice themselves for the good of their homeland. The story surrounds a father named Flint, two twin sons named Klaus and Lucas, and a suspiciously pig-like antagonist named Porky. They all go through the motions of a prophecy laid down before them long ago. Klaus, Lucas, and Flint are separated from each other and aren't reunited until the end where it's revealed that Klaus was the masked enemy that had hunted Lucas for half of the game. In the final fight, Klaus kills himself in a moment of clarity to 
defeat Porky and save the world. Number one, Nier. This is the apex of depressing video games. There are four endings, sort of, but not really since endings A and B are just continuations that lead up to the real endings, C and D. The story is about Nia living in a post-apocalyptic land. Nia goes on a journey to save his daughter against the Shadow Lord, only it's found out in the end that all of the people in the world are just soulless husks. The Shadow Lord is in fact Nia's soul, and every shade that you killed throughout the game was a person's soul. That's not the most depressing part. In ending C and D, you have a choice to either save Kane, Nia's lover, or to erase your very existence from the world. And to show his departure from existence, the game erases all of your save data and makes you watch while it does it. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!